hello my uh, youtube fans welcome to my channel uh, this is a tutorial on how to uh, make a, a logo for your youtube channel or for your uh, company by using microsoft uh, uh, paint as you can see we, we are in a paint window now i'm um, choosing the green color and then uh, circle uh, i will draw the circle i will fill it with uh, green paint in Microsoft uh, Paint, uh, you cannot have separate layers, therefore uh, your paint will be on a single layer. Therefore, you have to uh, draw the last, the upper layer should be uh, drawn uh, after the first layer. Therefore, that's what I'm doing. So the green will be a back layer. And now I'm using yellow and I'm filling it with uh, yellow paint. This will be uh, on top of the green one. Uh, therefore, you cannot have separate layers as you do in uh, other software such as uh, Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm drawing a red circle. I will uh, position it uh, so that it's uh, more or less equidistant from uh, the boundaries of the yellow one. I feel it. And finally, I'll draw a white circle. Uh, in the middle so that to cut out the uh, red part and I will fill it with white as well now I'm positioning in the circle you can see here. I will fill it now almost we are done with our art part uh, so the next step will be to cut out a portion uh, through which we will type uh, our title it could be a youtube channel title it could be a company title whatever title you are using you have to paint it in uh, now i'm just trying to cut enough space I'll select it with the select tool and then delete it. Okay. By the way, if you are new to this channel, uh, please subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell uh, so that you can get notification uh, whenever I upload uh, new videos every time. Now I'm using uh, the text. I'll write my title here, just selecting the font size. So Ideo Crafts is uh, the title for which we're preparing this logo. Therefore, I'm typing Ideo Craft. You can select uh, whatever font size uh, and the font color and even the font itself from the alternatives available. If what you want is not there, you can always download uh, fonts from uh, the internet and use them. There are different fancy font types which you can download and use. Now I'm done with the Ethio Crafts. Uh, my next line uh, will be uh, about the content of the channel. And the Ethio Crafts uh, YouTube channel uh, has a content of DIY, how to, tutorials, reviews, and so on. So I'll type that in. I have, uh, as you can see, I've changed my color from red to uh, blue. And I'll type the contents DIY, how to, tutorials, and finally, reviews. Uh, well, I've decided to uh, align the right side therefore I have to reduce some font size so that it matches with the upper text you can also position it by dragging the text box as you can see here I have aligned both ends you can also change the uh, font as you can see here, I'm trying to see well, which font is better. 
you can just choose whatever you like now I changed the font but uh, the position has moved inward therefore I'll drag the text block outwards so that it fits or it aligns with the end of the upper text now I'm done with this line then um, I'll try it just to add some character or some decoration to it I'll try to underline uh, this second line of text with a thicker line as you can see here also uh, I'll align the end of the line with the right hand end of the two texts you can also change the uh, color of this line as you wish I'm using green I'm trying to uh, change it and you can see I think this color is better because uh, there is some gap I'll select and drag it okay sideways and upward as well now we're done with this part and finally I'll add uh, the Made in Ethiopia text as you can see here I'm positioning my text box Made in Ethiopia Ethiocrats Made in Ethiopia so this is the idea of the channel you can uh, make as I've told you previously uh, company logos organizational logos YouTube channel logos or anything in Microsoft Paint it is easier to use uh, than other so softwares or software packages such as Adobe Photoshop here I'm just trying to select the font size and just checking which one suits better I'll also position it so that it is aligned on the right hand side now it's completed so finally for just for decoration purpose you can do it or you can leave it I'll use the rectangle tool uh, to draw a boundary so that uh, I'll use a thicker line and this boundary or border line makes it more attractive or eye-catching you can uh, position by using the arrow and you can also change the color now because we have too much green I think it's better if I change it to something like pink here you go okay we're almost done now uh, this extra space on the outside should be removed therefore I'll select the entire project I'll move it to the angle the upper uh, left side angle and then I'll trim everything as you can see here we're almost done that's it now our logo is completed you can save it in different uh, file formats I'll use a JPG file format because it's uh, more uh, familiar you can also use a png jpg and so gif and so on but i like jpg so i'll save it in a jpg file format so here is uh, what it looks like now i'll open it in uh, microsoft paint or microsoft picture viewer and here is what our complete logo looks like so I think uh, uh, that's uh, how you can make a simple logo using Microsoft Paint. If you liked it, if you enjoyed it, please share it, subscribe to my channel, um, ring the notification bell so that you get a notification whenever I upload new videos and stay safe. Thank you.